I am today at my local neighborhood pond or I guess you can say like town pond I don't know but we're here at the local pond and there's got to be a lot of samples inside of this pond that we can get a good look at let's go see what's inside as you can see here there are a ton of living organisms inside of the pond however this week we are going to focus on this organism the water mite this is a water mite water mites are a group of arthropods called hydracnidia hydracnidia are in the kingdom animalia the phylum Arthropoda, the class Arachnida, and the order Trombidiformes. They are one of the most abundant and diverse groups of benthic arthropods. Benthic meaning organisms who live at the lowest level of a body of water. There are 6,000 described species from 57 families. Hydracnidia are subaquatic, meaning they live underwater. They are found in nearly all freshwater habitats of every continent except Antarctica. Typical habitats include streams and marshes. This specific water mite was found in the pond shown at the beginning of the video. The effects of water mites on other organisms. Water mites are parasitic. However, the larval stage is the only water mite life cycle stage to have parasitic relationships with other organisms. These organisms are not humans. The fact that water mites are only parasitic during their larval stage makes water mites protellian parasites meaning the larvae are parasitic while the adults are predatory. When water mites find a host, the water mite larvae pierce host integuments, or the tough outer protective layer of the host. They pierce this integument with their chelicera, or their jaws, and they feed on the hemolymph of the host. Hemolymph is pretty much blood for invertebrates. Common host groups include insects with aquatic or semi-aquatic juvenile stages. This includes diptera, or true flies, if you have seen my previous video on drain flies or Clogmia albipunctata, you will know that drain flies have a larval stage which is semi-aquatic. Now that we know that water mites are parasitic in their larval stage, we can talk about their life cycle in general. Water mites go through four stages of life, the egg, larva, nymph, and adult. For this example of the water mites life cycle, we will use a water boatman as the host of the parasitic water mite larva. When eggs are in the presence of water, Larvae hatch out of the eggs. Each larva needs to find a water boatman to parasitize. The larva will cling to the outside of a water boatman until the larva is fully grown. The larva then drops off of the host and turns into a nymph. The nymph is a predator that swims in the water. When the nymph is ready to become an adult, it clings to an underwater plant and changes into its adult form. After finding a mate, the female produces a jelly-like glob of eggs which she attaches to a plant. The cycle then repeats. Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. I put a lot of effort into these videos, so if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below, and I'll do some research and get back to you. And as always, I and my crow Billy yours. Goodbye.